Hey, I'm Randy and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel like audio equipment. Speakers, amps, DACs, turntables, cassette, reel-to-reel, mm, turntables, did I already say that? Power conditioners, cables, interconnects, digital optical cables. Should cost more than buying an octopus and setting it up in a habitat that it lives in shorter than three days. Yeah. Actually, I think that would be really cool. I would like to own an octopus. I don't want it to die, though. So I need to do some research. And I imagine that maintaining a habitat that uh, supports the life and uh, not only let it live but thrive, uh, your octopus, is probably pretty expensive. I haven't looked into all the details, but I'm going to. Because what would be cooler than, than having an octopus in your office? Maybe a giraffe in the backyard, but still. The octopus would be really cool. And these don't. I'm not talking about the cute Q, Q acoustics here. Super tweeter. Today's sponsor is One Sock Jacks individual socks when you when you just need one sock to buy there's only one place because all the other one sock companies have gone out of business you got one choice he still sells it at a fair price though one sock one sock jacks because when you only have one sock and you want to pair them back together there's only one choice one sock jacks all right Aperion, Aperion Super Tweeter, mm. Super Tweeter. All right, what is a Super Tweeter, and why would I need one? I already have a tweeter in my speaker. Maybe, I mean, if you have one driver, like a single four-inch driver, maybe you don't have a tweeter. Okay, why would you need a Super Tweeter? Well, why would you need a subwoofer? Pretty much the same concept, only instead of the bass, we're talking about the treble. So let's talk about some specs. The frequency response on the Aperion Super Tweeters Mark II, and these are $350, 8,000 hertz, up to 40,000 hertz, or 8K, up to 40K. All right, they have multiple crossover points, kind of similar to a subwoofer, only instead of a low pass filter, you have a High pass crossover points. Okay, basically a high pass filter. Okay, uh, 8K, 10K, 12K, 14K, 16K. All right, those slopes are 6 dB per octave. It's a six ohm load. I don't know. It's, I wouldn't worry about that too much. It's 94 dB sensitive. Okay, really wouldn't worry about that too much. Okay, all right, it's a ribbon tweeter. Planar magnetic. You may have heard of planar magnetic for like headphones and things like that. Or really high end speakers often have ribbon tweeters. All right. So let, let's take a look at what's on what's on the back. On the back, you one has a couple little things. First of all, you have your, your speaker line inputs, all right? And the only thing you have to do to hook these up is just, okay, run your speaker wire from your amp to your speakers, and then just run another line from your binding post on your speaker up into the old super tweeter, all right? So you have regular old-fashioned kind of binding posts. Uh, it will accept bare wire, spades, banana clips, things like that. Then on the top, you have the off position, and this is, this is where you're setting your crossover. Off, 8K, 10K, 12K, 14K, 16K. And then, right below that, you actually have what kind of a gain setting, all right? So you have 0 dB, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. All right? How's it work? Well, here's the deal. You put it on top of your speaker, and you get more treble. Kind of similar, exactly similar to a subwoofer. So if you have a speaker that doesn't make a lot of bass, and it's very like accepted, like subwoofers are always accepted. Oh, you're gonna need a sub with those. It doesn't go down 
it doesn't go down all the way. Rarely do you hear about someone saying, hey, your speaker's super rolled off on top. You just need a super tweeter. Everybody says you need a subwoofer. Nobody says you need a super tweeter. All right. So if that's something that you personally like, you want some extension, you want some air, you want some ambiance, then you may want to consider a super tweeter. Everybody considers a sub. Just like a subwoofer has placement uh, considerations, uh, maybe limitations, uh, it's important where you put the sub, it's important how you implement the phase of the sub. Just like that, all of those apply to a super tweeter. Now with phase, you're really going to have to literally move the position of the super tweeter to ensure that it is time aligned with the rest of the speaker. Because if you get that out of phase, you can really have canceling of frequencies and you don't want that. You want to hear all your music, okay? It's important and you're going to have to play around the placement. I use these with the Wharfdale Diamond 11.4 tower speakers love that speaker however it doesn't have a super exciting top end the top end on that speaker is a bit rolled off when I put these in there and I'm not gonna say you just plug it put them up there and it's awesome okay I got it to be awesome but I needed to play around with it and what I needed to do was I needed to move it forward and aft to get basically the time alignment phase hooked up in sync with the speaker. And then I had to do an awful lot of adjusting of the gain and adjusting of the crossover point. This is not gonna be something, mm, all right, it's awesome, I just throw it up there. There's also a lot of opportunities for giving yourself an experience, a more immersive experience by not even aiming these directly at you. There's no reason you can't aim them right against the wall. There's no reason you can't aim them directly at you or off access or up, whatever it is. It's your super tweeter. You get to do what you want with it. But the bottom line is you're gonna need to play around with it, okay? So if you have a speaker that you love and you want more excitement and air, or if you have a speaker that you've invested a lot into, maybe it's an expensive tower speaker or something, um, it's fun. Super Tweeter's fun. But just like a subwoofer, there are things you need to consider. How does it sound? It sounds like a really good tweeter. Okay? Air, sparkle. This is not meant to be a standalone anything, all right? So the sound is great it does exactly what it's supposed to do and that's reproduce a lot of the high frequencies but that's really the only thing it does do i recommend this yeah i do if you have the right situation and that situation is you've got a speaker that you love you've got a speaker that you love and it's rolled off on top you've got a situation where you want to add a little ambience add a little depth air immersiveness you can do it with a super tweeter you're gonna have to you're gonna have to play around with it though it's a really 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 fascinating product and it's I don't know why more people don't do this because subwoofers are ubiquitous everybody out there knows about subwoofers not a lot of people know about super tweeters okay might be the right product for you if you're getting a, a $200 bookshelf, though, this may not be the product for you. You may just want to consider getting a maybe a higher quality bookshelf that kind of covers most of the bases. This, I think this product's going to mate up well with real, the ELAC debut B6, the first gen, or any of the tower iterations or anything like that. Uh, Wharfdale Diamond 11.4, 11.2, even the 12.2. Now, with the 12.2, the treble response is... Is, is not as rolled off as the 11.2 but you, there's still stuff that's missing out of these super high frequencies and people will say well you can't hear anything above 15k anyway or 20k 
15k really about 12k for me i still experience it though when there's a when there's a speaker that goes way up you know real you know 30k or is, is rated at 30k or whatever i still hear the room the air the ambiance what have you that inhales the the delicate details so the the argument that you can't hear past 20k so you shouldn't get anything that that, that reproduces sound above 20k is false it there's stuff up there there's still there's still frequencies hitting your eardrum maybe your brain's not processing them as sound but they're still hitting your eardrum therefore your brain is has stimulus coming in how that's translated into experience i don't know i took anatomy in college twice because i was so good at it the first time just kidding i failed um there's still stuff going on up there i guess that's my point all right it's cool it's a cool product it's a fun product you're gonna have to invest some time in it though um you're gonna have to invest um some placement you're gonna have to try out some different placement options but overall this is another product that can add to your listening and music enjoyment and movie enjoyment experience without costing you an arm and a leg $350 is it a lot for a tweeter it could be it depends it depends on what you want but it's a lot of fun and when you think about it in in the same vein as you think about subwoofers it just makes sense you're just supplementing a part of the speaker that maybe that speaker doesn't do very well. Okay. All right. So if you want to support the channel, there's a few different ways. Any of the links, well, on this video that I have in the description are affiliate links, which means if you buy the Super Tweeter from Aperion, I'm going to get a little bit of a commission. Okay. You can also sign up for our Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. Every Sunday night, we have patron only Zooms. We also have patron only content and we also have kind of a patron only Facebook group. There's some people that snuck in there, but that's okay. We're not going to kick them out. Patron only Facebook group where we go chit chat, have a good time and people can buy or trade or sell their audio equipment. Really anything. I would allow giraffes, octopuses. I probably shouldn't, but I would allow the sell of octopus in there. Okay. Uh, you can also sign up for Amazon Music HD for free click on the link scroll down to the bottom click try hd only available in the us and canada right now though and you get three months for free and i get a couple of dollars also if you are interested in a diy speaker and you are intimidated by the process of putting it together soldering things up i'll do that for you for a nominal fee and then i'll send you the speakers okay so don't binge watch netflix or anything binge listen through your Period super tweeters and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the cheap audio man. <laughs>